Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me here today. Dorothy Morgan, professional astrologer. We're going to talk about the moon before it's new. Now, I've talked about it for quite a couple of days now, and the new moon forecast was put out a few days ago. That will be linked at the end of this video, so you can check that out if you haven't already. And so we're going to go through that. We're going to talk about what's happening before the new moon. I'm going to give us more content. I talked about what was going on on the 27th, and now I'll talk about what's going on on the 28th, because that moon isn't new until very late in the day here on the East Coast of the U.S. It's not till 1052 p.m. on Tuesday night, June 28th, that the moon is new. So before that, we have content. What can we use? How are we going to use the moon? The moon's already in cancer. So how are we going to use that? So I'm going to talk to you about that. Then we're going to do some Astro Dice. And for those of you who are new, Astro Dice are fun. It's just a little added thing I do at the end. And hey, everybody who's regulars, I bought a new pair. So I can actually read the little buggers now. So that will be nice and fun and easy. And then I'll do a card at the end. All right. So let me share my screen because I want you to see what I'm looking at. So for those of you who are learning astrology or have taken a lot of classes, um, you know, learning how to read a transit chart, which is what we have here, is really important. Because if you want to say, well, how does this affect me? Well, the first thing is you've got to learn how to read a natal chart. So you've got to get that foundation. I've discovered there's just so many people who take a lot of classes. However, you still can't tell me the basis. A lot of you can, because you've been working with me. <laughs> I'm not talking about you, but some of you out there, you would know. So just work on your foundational pieces. What signs are element, you know, what, what, what planets are in, in what elementals, modalities, polarities, you know, work on that foundation, work on that foundation. And then we want to be able to read this transit chart. So we're able to say what's going on in the sky. And then later we put things together into two different layers. So that's just a piece. I just want you to, to remember that. We are talking about what's going on in the sky that's available to everybody. We do not use the ascendant in midheaven. I use the Placidus house system. We did not use the ascendant in midheaven. And we do not talk about house placements because this is a moment in time. And everybody lives somewhere on the planet, not where I'm at. This is a chart for where I'm at. All right. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. And everybody really to get notifications, hit the notification button. I mean, I do four or five of these a week. That's not overload because YouTube doesn't feel like serving this up to more than like three or 400 people. So, um, you know, you put on the notifications, you'll get actually told that I've got a new video up. So. What are we going to do now? So I want to look at when the moon enters the sign of cancer. So the moon enters the sign of cancer at 7.53 a.m. on the 28th. So from that time period, 7.53 a.m. until we get to the new moon at 10.52 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, adjust for your own time zone. We have the moon in cancer, but it's still in that final lunar phase, that last little waning crescent, some people call it, it is the balsamic lunar phase. And that means we're releasing. That means we're spending time in contemplation. Some people will be feeling sad and lonely. And there's so much inner emotion in that it's hard to come out. And, and we all have many, many, many people have lots of reasons to feel that just based off of what's been going on just here in the United States. So if you're feeling that, process it, and you don't even have to identify it, process it, and just allow it to move through you. And that's a wonderful way to use that moon once it gets into the sign of cancer, but still in that phase about releasing, understanding, contemplation, and just really spending a lot of inner time. Okay, a lot of inner time. That's what that balsamic phase is about. So I want us to practice that and to really give yourself that space. Absolutely have to give yourself that caring, that nurturing, that space. No matter what's going on in your world, try and find that for yourself and unplug if you need to. We also have um, early, uh, before the full, before the new moon, um, the moon and the sun are making a square aspect to Jupiter. Now the sun will square Jupiter at 9 p.m. and the moon will do it at 1044. So just before, just before, because this new moon is squaring Jupiter. 
but these are those are the exact aspects. So the exact aspects happens before the new moon. So again, that tells me it's about releasing and about realizing, realizing and, and letting things go. So it creates space for what else we need. That Jupiter in Aries is very dynamic because it is about all about what I need. Me, 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 I, and what, what is important for me. And we can think that way once in a while. We can't always think about others all the time. It's important to take care of you. So balsamic lunar phase to, with the moon in Cancer, both of the sun and the moon making a square to Jupiter tells me that it is a wonderful opportunity. It's during the day, most of it, right? It starts at 7.53 in the morning and it ends when the moon is new at 10.52 p.m. So that's 10, 12, 13, 14 hours or so where we could be feeling quite emotional. And so take charge of that and allow it to process for yourself. I'm going to stop with that. We have more over on Patreon. You're welcome to join us there. A lot of teachings and forecasts and you can go read the tier levels and see if something works for you. Astro Dice, a little added content. What does spirit want us to know? What else does spirit want us to know? And look, I could see it from over here. <laughs> this is nice. I can't believe I finally waited this long to buy a new, a new set of these die. Um, the sun in Leo in the seventh house. So the added content, and this might even be for just somebody particular, the sun in Leo in the seventh house. So this is, represents being creative with a partner or partnering up with somebody about a creative project. There's one thing that that could be. It could also be that you're a part, you have a partner that is a Leo because the seventh house is about our partners and that harmony and that balance between the dynamic and the relationship. So if somebody you know has, is a Leo, Leo, sun, moon, or rising, then, um, then that content of that is like, maybe they need a little more of your attention right now, even though, I just said, we need to care for ourselves. Maybe you're the Leo and you need more caring and nurturing from your partner. And then for those people who aren't in, aren't in those types of relationships, it could very well be that you're looking for somebody to connect with in that way, in a creative way. We don't all have to, not all partnerships are lovers. All right, let's go to the cards. What does this deck want us to know for June 28th? I almost said January. <laughs> for June 28th. All right, it's going to be the top card. Spirit of water shows up. It's, it's two elements here, spirit of water, spirit of fire. So two elements showed up today. So the water is about, is the cancer energy. So it's the emotion, right? And really connecting with that. And that's the sun and the moon in cancer. So it is the spirit of water wants us to really connect with our feelings, our emotions, everything I've just said. You can hit rewind. And then the spirit of fire, that's the uh, Jupiter and Aries. We also have Mars and Aries and Chiron and Aries. So this is about taking that action. So take action where you feel emotional. This is going to happen because there's just going to be a lot of people uh, protesting different things that are going on in the world right now. And um, a lot of people taking action and a lot of things going on in the world right now. But you know what? Bring it back to you. Make the changes where you know you can make the changes and don't try and take on the whole world. All right. Your world is good right now. It'll give you a little peace if you do that too. All right, I'm going to leave us with that. Thank you, everybody. Blessings. I will see you next time. Namaste.